सो यू नो शाबी आई एम थिंकिंग दैट बहुत बहुत देर होगी पॉडकास्ट करते हुए इट्स बीन गेटिंग मोर एंड मोर इन फ्रीक्वेंट दैट्स राइट बिकॉज सम ऑफ अस आर वेरी बिजी यू सी डूइंग अदर थिंग्स कम ऑन आई वोट कॉल हुवरिंग ऑल डे लॉन्ग बिजी वेल आई नो यू आर बिजी बट आई टॉकिंग अबाउट हुवरिंग आई डोंट थिंक आई सेट इन दिस हाउस वेन दिस बी नो नॉइज या वॉशिंग मशीन इज ऑन डिश वॉश इज ऑन योर हुवरिंग गाने बज रहे हैं टी वी इज ऑन सम वन इज स्क्रीमिंग शुड यू नॉट बी थैंकफुल दैट clothes are being washed dishes are being washed houses being cleaned people are in a jovial mood as i made in one said i think i better run to the hills welcome to the shabby and man podcast we are partners parents podcasters broadcasters and everything else in between and because we are doing our podcast so infrequently now we've got a lot to talk about we've got a lot on our plate you mean 10 minutes zyada ho jayenge 10 minutes se shayad zyada ho jaye ganimat se galti se by the way this is super weekend have we ever gone over 10 minutes We run out of conversation. We run out of about, conversation uh, after about eight minutes. Midlife crisis. Some people would like to call it. But oh, is that because you celebrated a birthday this week? That's right. I've celebrated a birthday, and I can feel it now. I feel that I've crossed over into that next box up in a survey. You know, when they say to you, "Tick a box that describes your age. Are you between such and such age?" I feel that I've gone up one notch. Soon you'll be going on cruises. No. You'll be listening to classical music. I didn't say I've moved over you, into the same age group be, as you. You'll be playing golf. None of that. It's quite liberating in a way. You know, you don't take anybody's bullshit. You feel that you don't have to live your life for anybody else. You feel that. My God, you just swear in this podcast. You really have changed. Why weren't you saying the other day that you know enough of this sitting on the fence and that is what podcasts are for? That we should really be very, very open about our uh, about our opinions. And I think I thought you were going to say about our love life. I never said that. No. I must tell people this that you know some people are very touchy feely, yes. and some people are totally the opposite. Yeah. Which is us. Yes. I digress. Yes. Let's get on with the podcast. We were talking about a super weekend for sport sports lovers. Let's not even talk about the World Cup semi-final where India snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. No, but they had a good run, you know. They played really well up to that point. So No, but again, that's what credit. hurt so much. I mean, they played so well throughout the tournament, but when it actually came to the crunch, they crumbled. They were in shambles. You couldn't even describing that last match. You couldn't even say well played boys because they didn't play well. That was terrible. What they doing? Angur zada khatte hain aaj? Ha, bahut khatte hain angur. But cricket ko to chodo. Cricket finals England playing New Zealand this Sunday. Not just that, we've got the Wimbledon finals. Again. You know, this Sunday we've got so many things lined up. So many. We're things. going to a festival. Yeah. And we're hoping they have a couple of screens because there's the Wimbledon final. Yeah. There's the World Cup Not cricket final. Not just any Wimbledon final. You've got Federer versus uh, Djokovic. Yeah, yeah. We've got um, England versus New Zealand. Yeah. In cricket. Yeah. And we've got uh, Lewis Hamilton going for a sixth title, I think, in the British Grand Prix in Silverstone. Don't even get me started on the melas, the various melas that are dotted up and down the country. Asian melas, some some of them are happening this Sunday as well, and yeah. uh, so many gigs. Right, this is the. You've had to weekend. say no to a lot of things this week. We've now. had to turn away a lot of things, but I think let's get the sport out of the way first. So, who are you going to put your money on? England versus New Zealand. I'm not a betting man. I've never been to Ladbrokes. Yes, of course. Who's your odds-on favorite? I, I think England's going to win. And Wimbledon. I'm rooting for Federer. Uh, name me one Hindustani who doesn't root for Federer. He's a cut above the rest, and they're saying it's his twelfth Wimbledon final. Someone said, "Very, uh, I love the words." They described him as the Swiss assassin. He looks older. He smiles that much less. He's thirty-eight. You know, you know? that's quite thirty-seven uh, going on. Thirty. He'll be thirty-eight next month, by the okay. way. Same as you. Uh, birthday next month, not thirty-eight. You're far older than that. Yeah, he's thirty-seven going on thirty-eight. But I feel that he's not the same man who we saw last year. But exciting it is, and I know nothing about the the Grand Prix. Lewis Hamilton, right? He's won it quite a few times. He's won mm. it. So, sporting fans, let's see which way this goes. Soon after India lost, I mean, we were looking at all the headlines on social media, all the stuff that people were writing back home in India here as well. Somehow, it's only when crunch matches like these happen that you realize why cricket is such a big deal in a country like India. I think India is so unique. It is so different, even from Pakistan, Bangladesh, Sri Lanka. You can't even say that it's like any other South Asian country because India is a vast patchwork quilt of religions and languages and cultures and Sorry. traditions. <laughs> it is a mosaic of diversity, as some people say. It's all tied together by very, very few things that transcend these differences. Bollywood is one of them. Bollywood comes close, but even Bollywood doesn't wield the same power. I feel that cricket does. That is why. जब क्रिकेट के मैदान पर चोट लगती है ना पूरे देश को चोट लगती है दैट इज वाई आई थिंक पीपल वो सो अपसेट दैट पीपल विद इन 
kissing distance of that World Cup trophy. And we kind of messed it up. And now it's going to be a long way. Yeah, what probably years. hurts more probably is the fact that uh, New Zealand is quite a small country. A population of what, 5 million, 6 million? Yeah. This uh, Delhi, Bombay have got a bigger population yes. alone yeah. than New Zealand. A lot of the players, the big ones, you know, Virat Kohli and Rohit Sharma and all of them are completely on form. Who's seen tomorrow? In four years' time, who knows whether they'll be in, in good nick. They would have made enough money from cricket and endorsements and all of that and would have probably be doing something else, commentating. Losing in cricket especially in a World Cup match, especially in the semi-finals. It was a day of national mourning. I think. It's just a game, yaar. Okay, so talking about things that unite people together, especially in India. You said cricket and the other one is, of course, Bollywood. I think, you know, a lot of controversial movies have come out. Lots, lots, of, lots of stuff is happening. Kabir Singh. And is, what, that's what I, what I like about your show, hmm. when I do listen to your radio show, is that you're not one of those who sits on the fence. I don't. Films that I really love, I talk about them a lot. Those that I do not like... As long as I can justify why I don't like them, I don't like to sit on the fence and say that, oh, you know what, their acting was so good, the locations were lovely, the fact is that he's a very good actor. If it is a rubbish film, it is a rubbish film. Then they might not call you again to the preview. They will never call me again to a preview. Bhagwan ki daya se aisi nobat abhi tak nahi aaye, but you know, that's not going to weigh on my mind because good. surely I have some kind of credibility as a presenter, right? And it is my duty to be honest about how I feel. Kabir Singh, I haven't seen the film, so naturally I'm not going to be... First of all, be... what are you talking about Kabir Singh the movie? Kabir Singh the movie. Because I haven't seen it, obviously my views are not going to be definitive. I'm just going by the reviews and what people are saying. But this is again like Marmite. People are either loving it or hating it. It's split down the middle, the fan base. So there's one lobby that is saying that... You for, know, you, for our Indian listeners, Marmite, you know, Chaman Prash. Chaman Prash, indeed. There's one lobby that is saying uh, you can't justify violence under any circumstances. Because the film apparently says... Yeah, that, actually, you know, I do know the just story that... He, he, you know, in the second half, when she jills him, whatever, he huh. goes into this drunken stupor and all. And, yeah, and he and slaps think, her And whatever, I think he right? hits her here and there. And, yeah. And, then, and, then and I think the it's... director justified it hmm. by saying that in uh, violence, this violence is an act of love, which, hmm. is, which is obviously bullshit. Which is rubbish, yeah. Kabir Singh has obviously caused a lot of controversy, but it's the first time that the critics have actually panned it. Most of the critics have panned it. But the box office has gone completely the other way you know it's made in excess of 200 crores at the box office well, that's fine if he's portraying a character a character is a character yeah. but if you're justifying the character is yeah. good because that's different yeah the other country judgmental hai kya uh, first of all they changed the name from mental hai kya to judgmental, judgmental which I thought was very clever but I'm so disappointed in Kangana Ranaut you know I was really rooting for her so I saw Mani yeah, Karnika we don't know the story yet what you're trying to say is that, that she's had to go to journalists she, she says that journalists has always maligned her no she and has maybe a it's massive true. chip on her shoulder you know she is just stooping down to the levels of those who are pointing fingers at her which I think is so unbecoming now it is becoming a droning allegation again and again oh they're doing this to me because I'm beautiful because I'm talented because I spurred somebody's sexual advances but she's a good actress she's a good actress she's a very accomplished actress I'm very disappointed in way Kangana is somehow coming across you know actress you know you have to see both story you don't actually know what's happening no I know what's why it's very clear for people to see how she reacted to a journalist it's on camera what do you mean you, you no, know I'm not even judging her on anything no, else no 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 but the journalist has written loads of things about her in the past I'm willing to give her a chance and I'm not taking away anything from her acting abilities but she just has to learn how to be a little more people friendly Ek Hindi mein kahawat hai, talab mein reh ke se not a good idea I understand that. not a good idea oh, he phrase English mein, don't bite the hand that feeds you yeah well there you go you know I saw you um Trying on all these saris yesterday before yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you've got another something coming up. I've got a show coming up and it's rather exciting. It is a fundraiser, a charity fundraiser. And it is in aid of uh, maternal and child health back in India. It's done by a bunch of doctors here. Fantastic. Well, I don't understand. Maternal and child health means... It's to roll out these programs in rural India where mums are vaccinated, little oh. kids, you know, who don't get enough nutrition. They're looked after. They're given all the supplies, all of that. So it's a very nice, noble cause. charitable cause. This year, because it's been 25 years since the late, great R.D. Burman left us, and it would have been his 80th birthday this year as well. It's a tribute to R.D. Burman. So Pancham, any, Pancham. Pancham da. Any Bollywood Pancham. fan would know what a tremendous force to reckon with. Adi Burman was so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it because I I had to do a bit of homework for this you know go back to Adi Burman's back catalogue and see uh, the list of songs that he's done and read all these related stories so, summer 2019 feels like it's packed with more things than than a British summer normally is no it's because last summer you were not here we were in India 
Correct. No, but it would have been just as just as exciting. We recorded so many uh, we'll episodes sitting now. in India. I think I think we've practiced uh, this season yes. doing them on a on a Mac and a microphone. So we should do them on I the think, go again. I think we're going to go back to doing them on the go. Bite-sized podcasts on the go. It can't least... be any shorter than ten minutes, though. Otherwise, it really would be a an appetizer without the mains. Oh, derp. So you think that's when it's okay? I think so. So time to pack up then and say yeah. bye bye everyone. That's right. Not just pack up. Go and pack a suitcase or two as well for our son. Oh yeah. yeah. So the the little one is off uh, surfing and all in Cornwall. So he's going for a week with his schoolmates. Yeah. And this is what worries me. He's not that little anymore. He's he's in in big school now. Year seven. And this is when kids get really naughty when they're on these school trips. I hope they behave themselves and they are safe because we've been assured that it's going to be a fantastic beach holiday for these. I know he doesn't know how to surf. That's what he does not to surf. <laughs> they'll teach him. You know, they'll teach him, and he's going to have a lot of fun. And I think. he's got to wear a wetsuit and all. Yes. Well, that suitcase is not going to pack itself. So that's the end of this podcast. Thanks so much for tuning into the Shabby and Man podcast. And don't forget to review, subscribe, do all the things you have to do. You know, um, find us on your favorite platform, blah, blah, blah. Thanks a lot. Till next time. Bye-bye now.